So good morning, everybody. Let's continue our discussion on high. So today we'll start with a new topic, and we'll try to solve our favorite program, word count in high. Okay. Let us try to see how easy or how difficult it can be to solve a simple word count problem in Hive. Okay, so without wasting time, I'll directly jump into the screen. So now we are in our Ubuntu system, and make sure that your Hadoop is up and running. Great, and let's open two terminal. In one terminal, I'll have cell access to the cell. Okay. and the other terminal i'll have access to hive i have launched my hive by using hive command is not it okay and right now i'm running the hive in the local mode but it does not really matter you can run hive in in the cluster mode as well okay all right so the moment you say just hive then it runs in our cluster mode and if you set those properties what we have seen in our previous class then it allows you to run the hive in local mode however it really does not matter okay so we have our hive terminal right and let's go back and i'll first make sure that you know this word1.txt and word2.txt are copied as per the document right so where to copy you can copy it anywhere but i will suggest you to please stick to my notes so that everything is completely relevant to the notes itself so i'm saying copy this file into slash home sd user so copy these two files and just paste it over here okay paste it over here and if it is already present it says replace all and say replace done okay so i pasted those two files like word1.txt and word2.txt over here and they contain some words right so apple ball cat and so on and all we need to do is find out the total number of apple the total number of ball the total number of cat it, it's it's the same word count example whatever we have solved earlier using the map reduce program is not it okay now let's move on so now i'll go back to the document so we have copied this done make sure your hadoop is in running mode we have already seen that and launch hive terminal by typing hive in terminal we have already done that right now create a table in hive to store the data of word1.txt and word2.txt So now we are supposed to create a table in Hive, but the question is, whenever you create a table in Hive, you always will have to understand how many columns should I really keep? Is not it? How many columns I, I I should really keep? Okay. So in our case, what are we going to do is we'll create a table called Word Table. Okay. We'll create a table called Word Table with only one column. Okay. Because we don't know how many columns should be kept. So I keep three columns. So, like, if four columns, so like, if five columns, I have no clue because the data is not fixed, right? The, the the length of the column is really not fixed, so we cannot really go ahead with just um, you know four columns or five columns. So, what we'll do is we'll say, I want to, I want to store all the entire record into a single column, and hence let me create a table with a single uh, column. So, we'll just say create table over table of line string type. so we have copied that file into our in our sd user in our ubuntu and now we would like to create the table right so we are in our hive now right and we have already copied word1.txt word2.txt in our slash home sd user folder right now it's time to create a table so we will create a table with only one column is not it here and let's copy this and let's try to we is it here okay so this will create a table called word table with only one column right this will create a table called word table with only one column done now the next thing is to load the data into this hive table is not it to load the data into this hive table so what is the command guys the command is the command to load the file is load data right and you will say local because you are going to read the data from local file system and input and you'll say the input path is this overwrite into a table called word table right so you can you can you know choose not to write overwrite this time that's absolutely fine because the table is newly created table so let's say copy this and go back to this place 
and say paste okay so now it has created a table and it has uploaded the data into this table now if you go back to if you go back to this uh, ui localhost 9870 you should be able to see that right so slash user hive warehouse word table and you have word1.txt and word2.txt right and the size is 94 bytes and 71 bytes and so on if you want you can click on this and then see the first few characters of the file okay now let's move on now we have done this we have loaded the data now what we'll do is we'll try to write some syntax some logic which can give us that word count right okay so now i will execute only this command let me just execute only this command and let me say okay let let's do one thing let's first let's first you know execute this whole command okay i'll just copy this and let me go back here and say paste okay so it has done something for us it has done something for us now if you go to this if you go to this syntax it says create a table called word underscore counts right so it has created a table called word underscore counts so let me say so tables if you see we have got a new table called word underscore counts okay now let me say select star word underscore counts right now if you see we are able to successfully get or fetch the word count of each of these words present in those files and how difficult was the query not not at all it was just a four lines of code right it was just a four lines of code and it is like a one liner is not it it is just a one liner where you have just done your uh, job is not it so that is the power of the ecosystem component which can help you to solve some of the problems uh, which can be represented in form of uh, you know like rows and columns and you can do some sql functions and all and and get your work done now let us try to understand this whole logic at the at a single go okay now i would like to break this complete line into two three parts okay so the first part is let us try to understand this particular code what does it do so i'm saying select explode of split line as word from word table okay so let me let me just say select star from word table so see your word table has got this data is not it like the word table has got only one column and that one column uh, sorry yeah one column and that one column has this data all together right this data all together right row 1 row 2 row 3 row 4 so this is how the data is actually stored now on it we are saying we are saying explode split line space so again if you want you can divide this um, you know like whole logic into two parts so remove this and remove this okay so what i'm doing is i'm see line is basically the column name of this table what table has a column called line and i'm saying select split that line by space because i have all this spaces over here as word from what table if i do this you will basically get an array right you will basically get an array now on this array you are actually doing a explode right see this will this split will give you an array this split will give you an array and on this array you are actually doing a explode and what does this explode do explode will convert all the array all the element of an array into multi lines okay so this explode will convert all the element in an array into one individual line right so apple ball cat will be converted into apple next line ball next line cat right so when you do this then you will see everything is coming to you on a line by line manner right everything is coming back to you in a line by line uh, manner so this is what we have done in this particular piece of code okay done now we know that this line actually gives you everything 
in a single row, right? In, in, in a single row, apple in a single row, ball in a single row, again another apple in a single row, and so on. Now on it, we are we are executing a like. Uh, one more query. So see, if you see, this is the concept of inner query and outer query, right? So the first thing first is this query will be executed, and what is the output of this query? Every word in a single line, right? One line each. Okay. Now we are saying select word, comma, count star as count from this table. Okay, and whenever you write a inner query concept you will always have to represent this inner query with an alias you will understand this more as we move on with the course and we do a lot of stuff right because see whenever this expression is evaluated okay this will result you in a table and what is the name of this table you don't know right so you will always have to use this you you will you would always want to refer this table by some alias so and that's the reason we you must put a, a alias so that you can always identify this table outside okay so you are now saying select word and count star as count from this particular table okay group by word order by word so when you do this let's see what does it give okay now when i do this then what it has done is it has basically given us the output right so apple 10 ball 4 cat 10 dog 8 and so on so let me go back again here okay so see till here what we have done is like you got all the all the row in all the words in each and individual row like you got apple ball ball apple ball ball and so on so you got apple ball ball apple ball ball and so on and now on it you are basically doing a group by so when you do by group when you do a group by group by is what is an aggregation uh, command right group by will basically group the data together so when you group the data together what will be the output one group for for example apple would be a group right apple would be a group and then what you want to do with the remaining thing right so see if if you say i want to group them so how exactly the group by will look like the group by will look like this so let's say uh, let's say you had a file a small file right word one dot txt and here you had apple ball apple and so on so what you did is you did explode right after splitting them right so when you did explode after splitting them they were converted into what apple ball apple right and other other stuff right and now what you're doing is you are trying to say i would like to group this data by what apple so when you group the data by apple how will it look like it will look like this apple is a group and then you will see a lot of apples right they're all grouped together right and again ball they're all grouped together Okay, and then you're saying, okay, see, the, when, when you do a group by, the group by will give you the output something like this, right? And when you want to say select star, when you want to say select that particular group name, and then you have to say what you want to show out of it, okay? And I'm saying count star, okay? So when I say count star, what does it do? For every group, it performs a count star on this group, right? And then you get apple and three ball and three as per this example okay so that is how it, it will basically work and this is how you'll be basically getting apple ball apple ball and all now the output what you get the output what you get here right will not be ordered by if you don't use order by okay so if you just say group by word then it just give you uh, you know the, the the result in in any format but you may be interested to do it uh, you may be interested to order them by this group number right the the group name and the group name is like apple ball and all so when you say group uh, you know when you say group by word order by word then it will group the data and then also it will order the data by word okay so this will give you apple ball cat dog in in a sequence 
now once you're done once you're done you get the output like this right and this outer query now is create table some table name as and store this record okay so when you execute this query what happens is this will basically execute you know the 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 data on the word table this will basically execute the query on the word table it gets the result all together and those results will be stored in your table called word underscore counts and hence if you just say select star from word underscore counts you just say select star from word underscore counts you will be able to get that data okay so it's very very simple is not it and it it looks really very short and quick instead of writing the mapper code the reducer code and all right so that's how basically you can solve a typical word count problem in hive so one thing we have to understand here is whenever you write a query see we have a table and whenever you write a query like select star from count star and all this will just give you the data right and whether you really want to write the data into a file or not that is up to you right so what is a hive hive is basically a, a tool where you can load the data in form of tables is not it and then you can write the query like the moment you write the query it will just give you the output of the query now it depends on you do you really want to save this query result into a file if you want to do so then you can do it right but typically when you say select star from this then it does not store the data in your sdfs so sometimes when you're working on some larger data set you may be interested to use this approach of of saying store the data into the table as select star from this and that table right so when you do that what happens is the query will be executed and the output of this query will be stored in some place so that you can later check and query that table much more easily okay and as i've said like if you look into the data set if you look into the output my output whatever i have shown you my output says uh, space with one here right space with one that is because in the data file somewhere there is an extra space and because of that extra space we are getting space equal to one you have to just go back to the data file and then remove that extra space wherever it is and you should not get this space right because it has counted that also as a as a you know a word right so if you want to get rid of it then you'll just have to go and you know like make sure that there are no extra spaces in your file 